Welcome back to the Supercoach North channel. Uh, in this video, we finally get to look at some team lists this preseason. As you can see there on the screen, the uh, preseason challenge uh, round one kicks off this weekend. So the first lot of trials, um, you know, get to see uh, perhaps maybe more so than this, a bit more experimentation inside. Um, especially given we've also got the Indigenous All Stars. So. I do have that list here as well, which we'll just quickly run through just to, you know, get a bit of an idea about the sorts of players that won't be playing this weekend. Um, and the Indigenous All-Stars back line looks pretty good there with Luttrell, the Fox, the Hammer, Katani Staggs, Khan Pereira, Trindle and Hines, so the Cronulla pairing in the halves, with Cody Walker out, obviously. Um... The forward pack, I guess, is pretty handy in the back row with Elliot, Curran, Hopgood. So probably three players that would all play 13 normally, but um, I guess given, like, if you look at the bench also, there's not a lot in the forward pack for the, the All-Stars, I suppose. Like, um, I've never heard of Bailey Butler or Hapapuru before. Um, yeah, Zach Fulton, Jordan Grant, I don't think have played first grade yet, um, but... You know, might not be too far off. Um, Kyle Labert from the Cowboys, he's one that, uh, you know, he's been penciled in for that centre spot there. So, obviously, we won't see him this week in the Cowboys colours. Um, and on the the Maori side of things, you've got Jesse Arthurs for Jojo Fafi. That's another Titans player. Um, Gagai and Timiko, Pompey, Nick Arima and Hughes in the halves. So, you know. Decent, but I'd probably, you know, give the Indigenous All-Stars a bit more credit there in the back line. Uh, their forward pack looks pretty good, though, with uh, Royce Hunt, Brandon Smith, Leo Thompson, Britton Nikara, Kenny Bromwich, Joe Tarpany. And then their bench, you know, you've got Jazz Tavanga, Xavier Wilson, Trey Mooney, Dylan Walker, you know, he'll come on and play a bit of lock, you'd imagine. Um, Jack Howarth as well, so you won't see him in the, the storm line up this week, so just be mindful of that. And Keenan Palace here as well. So um, probably, you know, a few players that might have had some interest there. Um, but obviously playing for their respective cultures this weekend. So get after it, boys. But I guess we'll have a look at the uh, the team list for the, the preseason challenge. Uh, and the first game on Thursday night is the Dogs and the Storm. So <coughs> just having a look at the, the Dogs first. So Blake Taff at fullback. You know, it looks like they're going to give him every chance to prove himself in that position. Um, you know, I guess the three-quarter line looks sort of like a um, backup uh, list. Like, you know, Wilson and Skelton probably wouldn't get in over Adokar and um, uh, Jacob Kiraz. Can't believe his name escaped him there. No, they've gone with Sherry and Clark. You know, Stephen Crichton's definitely in one spot, and maybe Connor Tracy has the other spot um, locked in. I'll just have a look if he's on the extended bench. I didn't think he was. No, so, you know, there's probably a few players that come in the back line there. Um, but Burton and Hutchinson in the half, so sort of suggest maybe, you know, Hutchinson's going to get the first crack at the seven, and they're going to work on that combination. Perhaps Sexton is in the on the bench in Jersey 14. So it'd be interesting to see if it's just like a straight swap at half time. You know, they do have the deep benches, so whether you know they, they swap everyone out. Just looking through, um, I can't imagine they'll swap everyone around. I guess Rajab could play in the halves with Haywood. Um, you know, they've got Joe Ash, Papa Lee could come in the fullback spot. Uh, I'm not too sure about their other uh center wing options there, but it's uh, getting pretty deep into their list by that stage. Um, but in the forward pack, Sam Hughes getting the start at 10 with Liam Mott on the bench. So there been a lot of hype about Sam Hughes, so maybe they're looking to see how he goes in the opening exchanges. Um, Kautoga at 11, and Jamin Salmon at 13 is interesting. I would have thought Salmon would be on the edge, potentially. Um, but... 
maybe, you know, they're looking at, at Salmon as a ball-playing 13 option. Um, obviously, he can play edge if needed. Um, but it may also just be that Josh Curran's out. I'm not sure what the story is with Kurt Mann. They might just be resting him too. Um, so yeah, it might just be best man for the job on the, on the day. Um, and then the bench, you know, after the, the sort of first few, Sam Ryan is probably one that would come into the centre wing, you know, that I've looked at it again. Um, but, you know, a lot of sort of reserve grade, maybe some jersey flag guys there. So not much to write about. Uh, and on the Storm side of things, Sir Ryan Pappenhausen is back, is probably the, the main takeaway here. Um, after that, it looks very second 11, like Jeremia. Remus Smith and Seve in the centres, so maybe either they're pushing for a spot or it might suggest that they're behind Meany and Falongo for a spot um, in in the first grade team. Um, you know, but I think other than that, Tui Katoa, Jonah Pezzett will be backups. Um, Trent Liera at 13. So I guess that suggests that maybe, you know, he's moving into the middle and Sean Ball is going to come in on that edge. So a pretty good indication there. Interesting that Tyron Wishart's coming off the bench, even though, you know, this is probably their second string side, um, other than Pappenhausen, I guess. But um, thought maybe he'd find his way into the six or the nine to try and get him some minutes. But uh, maybe they're just looking to try and insert him. Um, in a, in a certain role. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so we've got the Knights and the Sharks next uh, for the Knights. Um, so Fletch is sharp. Obviously isn't Kalen Ponga, so don't need to worry about that. Um, Tom Jenkins and Greg Marzu named on the, on the wings. So maybe getting first crack at it, Tommy Jenkins. Um, my Papa Lungi named in the centres, but Dan Gagai is out of this team, which should be noted. So, um, you know, he might be next man up, but um, probably not there. I guess Bradman Best also missing from this side. Um, Gamble and Hastings in the halves, so maybe go on combinations again. Um, although Jack Cogger is on the bench, so maybe everyone gets a bit of a go. Uh, and then the forwards... So the Saifidi brothers, Crossland. So I'm guessing uh, Bradley's not playing this one. Uh, Cartwright and Lucas. So given Lucas, I think every chance to to get that starting spot on the left edge. Um, and then there's yeah, some youngsters on the bench there as well. Uh, with the Sharks, so Kay Dykes getting a getting a run. Um, probably just getting some some uh, practice in given that he didn't play all of last year. Um, Katoa and Stone Street um, named on the wings. So I didn't see Ronaldo Molotalo in the uh, All-Stars team. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe just resting him. Don't know why they'd play uh, Katoa and not him. Iro will be good to watch in the centres. Um, Atkinson and Puru in the halves. So I know Atkinson's been a little bit of chat as a uh, sort of option at six, but you'd imagine Trindle would get the uh, the first crack at it. Um, and the forwards, you know, a lot of the usual suspects, Ken McKinnis playing 13, Jaden Beryl getting some time in 19, uh, in the in the hooker spot, the nine. There you go, I got there eventually. Uh, yeah, but again, not much to really worry about once we get to the bench. Well, I see a C for Talakai is floating on the bench there, so that's uh, interesting to see how they use him. Uh, if it looks like he's playing in the forwards, then that uh, might mean good things for Iro. Uh, the Roosters and Sea Eagles. So the Roosters going in pretty hard with full, that is a full strength back line. Uh, I guess Joe Marnie would be in around. He wasn't named for the Mario All Stars, was he? Might be a bit injured or something. But uh, I guess aside from Joey Marnie, that is a sacked back line. Um, Ford Pack looks pretty decent too, with Tupanua and Nat Butcher named. So that's interesting. Does that mean Tupanua's potentially got the jump for round one? Um, 
you know, Brandon Smith's out, so Zach Docker Clay makes sense in at nine. Um, well, Rhea Hargraves, maybe because he's suspended, they're not uh, going to give him a lot of minutes. Oh, so Joey Money's on the bench. We see what a warm kind of Watson. Interesting that they've gone that way. So, hmm. oh, I guess we'll see in the game how that plays out. Uh, for Manly, so you know, maybe their <laughs> second string back line there, you know, no Travoyevich, Gary, DCE, Luke Brooks, um, and then the forward pack as well. Looks a little bit stronger. You know, Nathan Brown at 13, I know his contract's just been upgraded, so... He could uh, be a bit of value. We'll have a look in a minute if he's in the uh, super coach um, game yet. But probably the the big sort of shout I think is uh, Ben Trevojevic, uh, named to start on the left edge. And there's a lot of chat that he has got that spot over Josh Schuster, who's not on the bench um, to sort of start the year. Um, and in that case, you know, that obviously opens up a few options super coach wise and fantasy wise as well. Um, but yeah, really interesting to see. Um, and then, yeah, on the bench, there's, you know, Humphreys, I think they've pumped up a little bit. Um, be interesting to see how he fits in with uh, Chan Kum Tong as well. I think, you know, they're both basically the backup hooker options. Well, I think Humphreys can play in the halves, so he might slot in the halves in the second half. Um, but yeah, other than that, not too much to worry about. Uh, the Eels and the Raiders. So, Chevy Stewart named it fullback for the Raiders. I'll probably jump the gun here. I guess the Raiders are probably the more interesting side in terms of super coach. Um, Kotrick Schiller, Hopewadi Savage. So, I guess they're missing a couple of their guns, like, um, Tim McCoe's playing all stars. Um, Sebastian Chris, not too sure what's going on with him, maybe because he's suspended. Early doors, they've, they've given some, trying to work out some options. But uh, K.O. Weeks in the six, looks like he's sort of locked in there. Uh, and Ethan Strange playing seven suggests that maybe he's not a chance of playing in the centres to start. Um, so maybe, you know, we, we might have picked up a cheapie there with Ben Trevojevic, but we might have to strike one out with Ethan Strange. Um, Chevy Stewart, a fullback, though, is interesting, but again, I don't know if that's their strongest setup in the back line. But he is ahead of Xavier Savage, so we can sort of take that into consideration. Uh, and the forwards... You know, Emre Gaul starting is probably, you know, their, their main bench option. Um, yeah, Solo, Sasagi, Mariotta. So, you know, these guys, a lot of them will feature in games throughout the year. Uh, Tom Starling starting off the bench, so I guess getting used to that role perhaps. But they also have Levi as well, so might just get 20 minutes or so each just to, to get into it. Uh, and for the Eels... So, I mean, Guth Gutherson's not there, but other than that, it's not too far off. Maybe Mike Acevo um, would slot in there too. Obviously, you know, second choice uh, halves combo there. Uh, but Brennan Hands getting named in the nine. So, uh, just having a look, it doesn't appear as though uh, Lusick is named. So. Is that suggesting that Hans has the nod or Lussick might be getting rested for next week when he's going to start in the nine? So still not 100% sure on that. Um, but other than that, you know, Madison probably playing 13 just because Hopgood is in the uh, All-Stars game. Um, yeah, Tualungi getting a chance to impress at the new club, so... Uh, not the not the weakest sort of team put out by Para, but definitely a few key pieces missing. Week one. Uh, Rabbitohs and Dragons. So for the Rabbitohs, um, 
the, I guess, you know, there's there's definitely a few of the boys out with the Origin and, I'm oh, sorry, Indigenous All-Stars, um, as well as the injuries to Campbell Graham, Tyron Munro. So maybe Tane Milne is going to get that shout on the wing. Um, or could get first crack at it, I suppose. Um, Isaiah Tass, he, he's probably going to definitely get game time now that both um, uh, Campbell and Munro are out. But uh, yeah, Dean Hawkins is obviously the backup half. Forward pack's pretty strong. Sean Kepi starting, it was interesting. Um, and then I guess on the bench, you know, Talos Duncan in the 18, so he might be one that's uh, starting to fade. you think if they were trying to get him on the edge, they'd start him in the 12. Um, but on the uh, the Dragon side of things, just looking at this, it's a pretty full-strength side. You know, Sloan at fullback. They've talked about Zach Lomax on the wing with Bird playing at the centres, Flanagan and Hunt in the halves. Um, so a little in, at nine. Tom Eisenhuth in the, in the 11. So I guess that second ed, secondary spot's been fairly contentious and it looks like he might get the nod. Um, Dylan Egan on the bench. So, so and like I said, you know, other than that, this looks pretty first string. So maybe Tom Eisenhuth is one we'll, we'll look to bring in. Um, and then on the bench... You know, just, I guess, all of the options, which is pretty handy. Um, cool. So, Warriors, Tigers. Warriors, um, CNK, maybe getting the, the day off. With uh, Tua Picky at fullback. Uh, Leia Tower in the centres. Probably not first choice, but um, interesting RTS is playing. Maybe just to get some reps in to him before the season. Harris to Vita and Metcalf in the halves, so don't know if we can read much into Chanel playing in the six and uh, Metcalf in the seven. I would have thought maybe it'd be the other way around, so uh, we might just keep a little eye on um, Chanel because if he gets a start, I reckon he could be a pretty good value option. Uh, the forwards, so I feel the, the, the big guys missing. But um, you know, I still got the Fala, Ale, Freddie Lassie, Jackson Ford. So, you know, very sort of second string type team. Um, so we won't worry too much about that. Um, and on the uh, Tigers side, Buller at fullback, Staines, Fatape. I'm not sure who he is. We might have to look into that. Declan Casey, I'm pretty sure he used to play for the Dogs. Getting a go in the centres. Junior Tupo and then Sullivan and Caesar in the, the halves. So um, I'm guessing that's the sort of combination they're looking to go for. Um, and then Udi Kamanu, Kairosau, Clement. So if this was a fairly full strength sort of side, there might be a couple of interesting options here with. Um, you know, one of Far Tape or Declan Casey getting the start in the centres. You'd imagine Justin Olam would uh, would be in the centres for sure, but there might be a bit of value there. Um, Alex Safarth as well. I think he's a cheap option, but there's been a bit of chat about he might be the starting 13 for the Tigers this year. Um, but there is no John Bateman by the looks of it, so we won't sort of lock that in just yet. Just something to definitely keep in mind. Um, and then on the bench, Lockie Galvin. So you imagine he'd come on and get some minutes. But I guess if they're setting the team up like that, it might be a hooker. They do have Simpkin and Silver, so maybe not. Um, but I guess after that, you know, a few of their bench options. Um, and yeah, so... Like I said, you can't read too much into it at this stage. I was about to give up. I think there's two more games. Um, <laughs> so for the Cowboys against the, the Broncos. Um, so they've gone with Valame and Darby and what looks like a sort of second string uh, side. So does that suggest that it's going to be Kyle Felt and um, Tulangi, um, yeah, Tulangi at the start of the season? 
Tulung is obviously locked in, but maybe Felt has the jump on the the second wing spot. Uh, and the forwards, yeah. So again, very sort of second string. Finnafiliaki, um, you know, he'll struggle to get in ahead of um, Nane and Luki, but definitely quality um, there. And then yeah, the bench is uh, you know some some up and comers. Uh, with the Broncos sort of things, so you've got Walsh, Oates, Hoyter, Cobo, Marinos. So that looks pretty full strength. Obviously, Tony Staggs is playing all, the all stars, so maybe he slots in uh, for Hoyter. So maybe, you know, Dane Mariner's got that wing spot locked in. Um, Pia Cora and Jaden Hunt starting on the edges, so I guess. You know, maybe Pierre Corey isn't as locked in as we thought if, if you know, Jaden Hunt can impress in that spot. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Corey Jensen starting in, in the forwards. So, you know, if we look at the bench, you've got like Fletcher Baker, Cobra, Heatherington, Martin to power on the bench. So, um, I know I have at times had Xavier Wilson in the team in the preseason, but maybe he might get squeezed out of what seems like a pretty full strength 17 there and a few of the the other uh, squad options on the bench uh, and so then finally the Dolphins and the Titans so the Dolphins looking pretty full strength you know they don't have the hammer so Trey Fuller filling in at fullback um, Bostock, Tessie New um, Farnworth and the Zarko, so not sure what's going on with that really. Um, he's on the bench, so maybe Tessie Newt has the jump on him. So in which case we may have to look elsewhere um, if we're in, interested in that really. Um, and then in the forwards you've got Tommy Flegler, Marsh King, Nichols, so this is a pretty full strength team. Aiken and Kafusi, um, I think Connolly Lamarielli would be out injured. I oh, know he's on the bench. So maybe that I think uh, you know they probably got to squeeze um, the Bromwich brothers in there somewhere, but uh, other than that, it's pretty full strength sort of team. Um, and they probably you know could fit in on the bench here. You're not going to have Plath, Tafari, and Avrilo and Donahue um, in those spots. You're going to have a couple of forwards. Um, yeah, so Jared Wallace on the bench, Mason T. Yeah, so it looks, again, pretty sort of full-strength side. And the Titans, I guess, you know, we were expecting a fairly second-string side given quite a few of them involved in the All-Stars game. Uh, and that appears to be the case. So not too many familiar names there at all. Aaron Shop, maybe. Kemal Marlow in the back line. Um, Big Isaac on the bench with Joe Stimson, Cleese Haas. Yeah, so I guess not too much to read into there with the Titans team. And then I think that's finally it. Yeah, <laughs> so I guess, you know, in terms of our team, so like I said, it probably suggests maybe Ethan Strange is out, given that, you know, he's reserve halfback essentially. Um, but. Maybe what we'll have to do is we'll chop down Tango. Uh, and what we can do is we can bring in, if I can find them, Tom Eisenhuth and Ben Trevojevic. So, you know, look, if they're both starting on the edge, just, you know, a bit of value playing in that, uh, you know, big minute role, hopefully, you know, would be nice to see. Um, it does give us a bit of cash as well. Um, so we could upgrade to Tola and go back to Payne Haas. But I think then the issue is we, uh, we probably need to get rid of Duncan and Egan. We might select them. So maybe it's a case of we move one of these guys. So Eisenhuth, let's say. And it gives us that bit of flexibility in between here as well, which would be nice. Um, and then, 
got 534 for two spots. It's not looking good. <laughs> so maybe we 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 can't go to Payne Haas. Bet's a toller back in. Yeah, the more I think about this, the more I'm at peace with not uh, playing a gun in the front row to start with. We can just, you know, get all the money elsewhere and bring them back in that way. So I think this might open up the opportunity to bring back in Sean Bloor. Just going to start, load him up in the starting spot. And then we've got that awkward sort of 400k in the set, center wing, which isn't ideal. Yeah, just looking through this, nothing really stands out. I guess if he gets a run, fire long run, you know, maybe, like I said there, we sort of uh, resting him up this week to, to let him go next week in the bigger trial. Or Bronson Sherry, you know, if he can force his way in off the back of a good game. Um, yeah, so maybe if it looks like Fatape gets the nod, maybe he can just sit on our bench as a bottom dollar cheap option. But you know, it's a bit risky, especially given they've got the buy in round one and won't get to see the, the team list. So maybe Chevy Stewart, if, you know, they are sort of giving him a crack at number one. Iroh, perhaps. Again, that's a bit of a question mark. Hmm. Yeah, so... You know, it's probably going to change again next week, but um, let's just go with Fai Lungo for the time being. We could probably even swap him out with Trevojevic, just to be sure. So, 64k in the bank, still okay. So, if we save that. Yeah, so that's how the, the team would, would shape up with those changes. So, I guess if Sam Hughes is starting... We could uh, swap them like that. Um, yeah, I guess second row. We're not 100% sure. Other than that, probably, you know, Pierce Paul might start off the bench to begin with. We've already talked about just treating him like a slow burn front row type pick. Um, you know, so. Yeah, it might just stay like that, to be completely honest. And, um, yeah, you know, got some nice options there in the back line. We'd love to see a couple of, you know, bottom dollar cheapies um, to make things a bit more interesting, but uh, we'll take what we can sort of get at this point. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and saying that, you know, there's still another round of trials to get through after this, um, and then, you know, you've got to avoid injuries and the like. But um, I guess it's just interesting, you know, to sort of, try and read into what the coaches are thinking um, and, uh, you know, adjust our, our thinking accordingly. So I think uh, that's about it for this video. Um, if you've got any questions or comments or thoughts that you want to share, by all means, feel free. Um, always love to get involved with the, uh, the viewers. Um, if you're enjoying the NRL content, remember, give us a like. And subscribe to the channel so i think we're pushing 240 subscribers now so it feels like every time i record a video it's going up by about 10 at a time now which just just thanks to everyone who is getting involved and you know sort of spreading the good news in that sense and uh yeah other than that we'll catch you in the next one <laughs>